MDCT leader Douglas Munzora has claimed that his former deputy Thokazani Koop, who recently declared herself as the new leader of MDCT, was on a ZANU PFG 40 faction mission to divide the MDCT party. The G40 was a ZANU PF faction during the late former President Robert Mugabe's era. In an interview with Gweru based local radio station, 98.4 FM yesterday, Munzara said Koop was misled by former higher and tertiary education minister Jonathan Moyo and some political analysts to believe that she could declare herself the MDCT leader. Munzara suspended Koop from the MDCT after she claimed that she was the new leader as Munzara had claimed the presidency of the MDC alliance. There was a lot of advice coming from Jonathan Moyo, some lawyers like Alex Magasa and journalist Hopewell Chinono to her. These are people who are on record of never advising anybody correctly. Their advice has always ended in disaster. We are sad, of course, as a party that the situation has come to that and that our vice president Coop has made that decision, he said. Munzora described Koop's move to split the party as unconstitutional. Koop declared a split which is not provided for in the constitution of MDCT, the national constitution, and you don't find it in any law in Zimbabwe or any practice in Zimbabwe. So what we said in the National Council three days ago was to declare that she was no longer our member, not that it's us who had expelled her. The person who triggered the move was her, not us. But Coop's spokesperson Tandon Lovu described Munzora's utterances as mere speculation. The allegations by Munzora point to a man gasping for facts, and we have no time to respond to such village gossip. The method in his madness is that by name dropping those names, he will gain favor from his handlers Zanu PF, he said. Munzora is not that person to lecture people about the constitution, and before he talks about the split announced by Coop, he must first tell where it is in the MDCT constitution that there is a first and second deputy president. Dottenglovu said Munzora long fired himself from the MDCT by writing to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission on January 3, informing them that he was the leader of the MDC alliance.